Hello there, dinky do. it's Scotty McClue. Now, you might not be expected to see me at this time. It's uh, just about ten past one on Saturday, the 3rd of December, 2016. And uh, this is really a small early promotion for tomorrow night at 10 o'clock sharp, 2200 hours Greenwich Mean Time, when I shall be back with you for one hour, one beautiful solid hour on Sunday nights at 10 o'clock sharp with Scotty McClue. We'll just be doing this, we'll be chatting away. Uh, those of you who are watching can have shout outs. And of course, remember, we are global. So we go right round the world for one hour on a Sunday night, live on Facebook Live. And uh, lots of people are actually watching right at the moment, so that's rather good. So there you are. This, as I say, is just a short promotion. And uh, we're about 10 past one on Saturday afternoon. So a lot of you will be getting ready for football. A lot of you will be going out for Christmas shopping. Some of you will be going into the various towns and cities. Liverpool, Manchester, Preston, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen, Dundee, Stirling, into Leeds, into Sheffield, of course, all favourite stamping grounds of Scotty McClue. A lot of you will be in going into London for Christmas shopping. So have a wonderful Saturday afternoon. I hope you thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, there's a big uh, favour you can do for me, of course. You can tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue on at 10 live on Facebook Live each Sunday evening at 10 o'clock sharp. Make a note of it. Get it down in your diaries. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of life. And we don't want you doing that, of course. We're available for calls on Skype, scotty.mcclue. And ringtones. If you would like Scotty McClue to answer your mobile phone in future, if you go to the Scotty McClue website, it will pop up right away if you just Google Scotty McClue, S-C-O-T-T-I-E, M, small c, capital C, L-U-E. Ewan from our broth there, Bobby Grace is watching, hi Bobby, Alan Blacklaw is watching right now. Roy says Nottingham and Derby, of course me docs, never forget Nottingham and Derby. Um, my missus actually took a yoga class in Yorkshire, and she said to them first, she went, um, hands on thighs and they all went like this very interesting anyway there you go now uh, we've also got um i will speak to you tomorrow night scotty says eleanor mckinnon and our lady in linwood here there's laura in linwood fantastic and uh, graham jones is in selkirk my goodness me uh, alex garty is uh, in london He's uh, in London watching right now. And uh, also we've got Scott Wilson watching a very, very, very fine broadcaster, if I may say so, sir. And how marvellous to have you. Andrew Hiddleston's watching right now. Incredible. I wasn't sure how many of you were out there right now, but I thought to myself, I do need to tell the world. I do need to tell the nation. I need to tell the United Kingdom, because, of course, I am effectively your cultural and creative ambassador for the United Kingdom and for Scotland in particular. It made, it made me laugh last week. Somebody was asking, are you British or are you Scottish? Well, it's not really a fair question because Scotland is a country. Britain is an amalgam of several countries. There you are. And uh, Jumbo Jumper on IC, says Scott Wilson. Yes, Scott, if you know who runs the Twitter account for the Jambos, make sure that Scotty McClue is not blocked, can you? Some dafty obviously uh, made a little error of judgment when we were bigging up the jambos. And he thought, ah, too much bigging up the jambos. I'll, uh, I'll block Scotty McClue. So that is a piece of nonsense. So there you are. Charles McLaughlin, good afternoon, Scotty. Good afternoon to you, Charles. Gregor G's watching in Hollywood in America there. Dinky do, of course. Well, we know where Hollywood is. You don't need Scotty McClue to tell you that Hollywood is in America. So I hope the jambos do well this afternoon, Scott. And uh, as you see, I've got Got my uh, my jumper on here and uh, relax mode as well. I haven't got a formal white shirt on this afternoon either. Have you checked the psoriasis that used to be the back of my hands? Isn't that wonderful? It's calmed right down. Um, so excellent. A very good afternoon to all of you. If you would like me to answer your mobile phones, get yourselves on to www.scotty-mcclue.com and there you will see 
three ringtones. There might be three or four. And um, you can download them. Now, they are of a degraded quality to stop people downloading them for free. So there you are. There's a very small charge. And I think that'd be a nice treat at Christmas if Scotty McLean answers your mobile phone. Dinky doo, can someone get this phone? Dinky doodle dandy, Scotty, says Gregor G. Absolutely. Hello, Captain, says George Raffin. Hello to you, George. Don't forget, though, that we will be all together tomorrow night, 10 o'clock sharp. Now, you've all been very, very good at putting up with all the shares, with it popping into your inbox every so long. Oh, Scotty McClue again with these videos. But there is method in the madness, I assure you, my loves. What we have to do is share and share and share. It's lovely of you to like. I really appreciate it. But if you can share and share and share as well, that's very important too. Because that's how our social media actually works. If everybody shares, if everybody knows Scotty McClue's on at 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday night for one hour only, then the message gets out there. Tell everyone about it so that everyone on Facebook can come and join us. And we have a proper massive, massive in-vision phone in, a television phone in. Uh, James Cutters is watching. Hello, James. Lovely to hear from you. Gordon Stillings watching out in East Lothian there. My old stamping ground. Fantastic lunch in East Lothian on a Saturday lunchtime. How marvellous. Richard Frediani is watching. One of our finest news figures in the country. He got his train home yesterday. I think I can advertise. I think it was a virgin train, Richard. And uh, he had a sandwich and some crisps on the train. Well, well deserved, Richard, for a wonderful week's news gathering. Excellent. Uh, so there we go. I don't know, do you still do ENG, as you did in my day when Scotty McClue was an ITV newscaster? Uh, Rick Hutton's watching. Dinky doo to you, Rick. Another very, very fine broadcaster and DJ. All the stars seem to watch Scotty McClure. I think that is marvellous. It's very, very humbling. I can tell you that for nothing. I feel even more humble than usual. Now then, Lee Buckinshaw's watching. Another star, of course, McClure. Can you tell Agnes I'm sorry about the hamster incident? Ugh, oh, listen. Gordon, your private life, your own son, don't worry too much about that. That's between you and Agnes. So there we are. Hello, young man, says Rick Houghton, dinky doo to you. Lee Travis is tuned in from Derbyshire, and he's chatting away in Derbyshire there. How marvellous. There was a Derbyshire ram, I believe. Um, so lots and lots of you out there, very much appreciated. Thank you for that. Now, also, can you find Scotty McClue on Twitter? I know that we're on Facebook and that's fine. But if you can find me on Twitter at Scotty McClue and also at the McClue Review, if you're wanting total luxury. And um, what have we got? Can you tell Duncan to hurry up and go to McDonald's, please? Says Vivian Scotson. Yes, yes, it'll be a way. It'll be a way to get you a Big Mac or a Happy Meal, that sort of thing. Now, also, if you're wanting Scotty McClure, I've been looking at some adverts on the telly on commercial television and radio, and I'm thinking, do you know, had you had Scotty McClure voice that for you, that advert would actually have worked. So there you are. So think about that. If you want me to come and voice over your adverts for Christmas, I'll be delighted to do that. There will be a small charge, of course. If you want me to appear in your advert, I will also be delighted to do so. There will be a small charge, of course, but, you know, fair's fair. Um, get six to get six to get six to share. That should be your new slogan, says Gregor G. You know, I think tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClure at ten on Facebook Live is a good slogan, Gregor G. When are you moving? Uh, you are moving, actually, to Las Vegas. You're in uh, Hollywood at the moment, and you're moving to Las Vegas Lots and lots of you sharing. Thank you for that. Let's have a share point right now. If you're on Facebook and Scotty McClue has popped up, I'm sorry about the big fizzog, but it's the only one I've got. And it's just to tell you that we are, of course, on at 10 o'clock sharp tomorrow night, Sunday night. This is Saturday lunchtime. I haven't got the time right in front of me because I don't need to have it in front of me. I'm not meeting a major news junction at 1.30 or anything like that. And uh, also, who else have we got? Laura Sojourner. 
has just shared the video. I appreciate that very, very much, Laura. Now, I know it's a lot to ask, and some of you are afraid of work, but if you can click on share when you see the name Scotty McClue, get it round there because we are building a massive, massive phone in program, a massive talk radio, talk television program. Uh, so there you are. I did speak to a guy who's very, very senior in television down south, and I said, um, you know, would you like me to come and do a programme for him? And he said, no, because you have a Scottish accent. I think there are one or two Scots down there. Yes, I'm just back from Vegas, says Gregor had a ball. What happens in Vegas goes on Facebook. I thought you were going to say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but what happens in Vegas goes on Facebook. Thank you, of course, for those of you who like my shiny nose, my impersonation of Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. That's just because I don't use makeup when we're doing this. When I was presenting television, I always put uh, a little bit of powder on just to take the shine off the nose, you know, that's the thing. Once went home in the bus with it, with an orange face. Give a shout out to the Indy Rally in Glasgow, says Albert McSquared. Absolutely for the Indy Rally in Glasgow. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt that, uh, you know, Scotland will uh, part from the United Kingdom at some point. I don't think there's any doubt in that because it doesn't make sense for it to hang around there because culturally the two um, places, well, not the two places, I mean, Scotland is a country, Britain's an amalgam of countries, and uh, economically, Scotland can do it big style. We gave £40 billion pounds to Westminster last year. When you look around, you think, what did we get in return for our £40 billion? Pounds? Brexit as well. A lot of people that didn't like Brexit are now pushing Brexit. I mean, I'm apolitical, as you know, but were we right to leave? Should we just abandon the whole thing and say, listen, we've had a look at it. And to be quite honest with you, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of uh, the technical um, ability to make this happen, in terms of economics, etc., etc., here are the facts. You're all obviously railroaded in to voting uh, coming out of Europe because you thought that the NHS would get another 350 billion or something a week. But uh, that hasn't materialised. Therefore, should we say, I think we'll give the Brexit up as uh, a bit of a bad job, actually. It's not going to work. It's going to cost too much money. Guys, Raleigh Jones is watching Dinky Do to you. Uh, guys, if you're swearers, uh, please remember, um, not this has nothing to do with you guys, by the way, no connection at all. I say there's no connection between this and gas. But um, if you're swearers on your website, um, I'm not so keen to join you because if you don't swear on social media, I can retweet you. I can send that round, you see. So a big shout out to the Indy Rally in Glasgow. Uh, what's your opinion on gambling, Scotty? Gregor, I don't, I'm not a gambling man, really. I mean, I'll bet you I'm not, uh, you know, but um, I, uh, I don't really care in a big way for gambling. Although I do buy the odd lottery ticket, I've got to fess up. Mm, oh, dangerous, dangerous man. Uh, dinky do to you, South as Gaz Rolly Jones, and dinky do to you, Gaz, you fine fellow. Uh, so there we are. So opinions on gambling, Gregor, not a fan because I've seen the damage it can do to families. Like anything in excess, alcohol, tobacco, that sort of thing. So there we are. So do uh, do keep your acknowledgements coming. I'll give you a little shout out, but it's time I pushed off. So here's the checklist. Scotty McClue, me, live, tomorrow night, 10 o'clock sharp, Sunday 4th of December, 2016, 2200 hours, Greenwich Mean Time. I'll try and give you a little reminder tomorrow lunchtime, okay? Share and share and share anything you can find on Facebook that's to do with Scotty McClure. Get onto the fans page. There's uh, a couple of thousand and a little fans group there. Get on to... Um, scotty-mcclue.com Facebook page. Get on to scotty-mcclue.com, the website. Download your ringtones so that Scotty McClue answers your telephone. Get on to Twitter and follow Scotty McClue and start retweeting some of the major stuff that's on there. 
Get on to YouTube. There's 140 YouTube videos there. There might even be more. And share these and watch these and entertain yourself because it's big, big quality stuff. I have to see. And also, if you've got adverts you're needing done, let Scotty McClue know we'll come to the arrangement. Don't panic at the price. I've heard it all before. So he'd be, he'd be fortune, be millions of pounds to hire him. You might be surprised. We'll do a deal. We'll come to an arrangement. So there you are. That's that. Uh, we're better together, Scotty, says Charles McLaughlin. Charles, there's no evidence of that, sadly. Everybody shouts that. But in actual fact, there's no evidence of being better together because Scotland is just getting absolutely rock blind. Oh, you're only on, Scotty, and you're going already, says George. Well, George, you can have too much of a good thing. You know what I mean? This is just a, a short promotion to let you know. Get your ringtones at Scotty McClue's website. Get them downloaded. Gregor says, as a radio DJ and superstar, who do you think is the best female and male voice of all time? And what current artists do you like? I think the best male voice has got to be my own, Scotty McClue. And I say that with all humility. But we can do all the various voices that you require. What current artists do I like? Stacks and stacks of them, Gregor. Too many to mention. So many fine artists out there. John Hewson's watching. <coughs> ah, John, I'll see you when I get my glasses. John Hewson, if you ever meet John Hewson, a very, very fine managing director and chief executive officer and an excellent airtime salesperson. Wonderful, wonderful uh, as an airtime salesperson, which is a big ask because in one way, airtime is an intangible and yet it's so powerful and it's so wonderful for your business to advertise on commercial television and radio. So if you get the chance, uh, get yourselves on there. Now, there are very, very big Scotty McClue plans for the new year. I can't go into everything at the moment because obviously it's still um, being discussed. But we're talking to some extremely senior people. So, uh, you know, look out for things to happen. Yes. If you've got a radio station or a television station and you'd like Scotty McClue to do something, a wee freelance number for you to try something out. For instance, I think this would go amazingly on local television. We pop up or one of the big companies that also has access to telephones and to email and things like that. We could hook up so that you've got live chat because the problem nowadays with social media is it's sometimes well why social media is so successful is because businesses it's sometimes very difficult to get in touch with a human being everything's done by bot and what have you um now who have we got here so that's john Houston for you eh, john and uh, i remember being at john's wedding wonderful wonderful wedding down at uh, blenheim palace best voice of all time like tom jones says gregor g thank you gregor scotty McLean and tom jones did you hear tom jones do great balls of fire just quite ad hoc wonderful wonderful they were all judging there and uh, tom jones just started singing great balls of fire and it's such a fabulous fabulous voice i love the quality of the um the welsh uh sound that you get in all these wonderful male voice choirs how are the tenors and doubtless i ask you Laura says, we've just shared the video. I hope you appreciate it. David Russell's watching right now. Um, oh, Gregor says, sorry, I meant the best male and female singers. Oh, gosh, Gregor, again, I'm absolutely spoiled. Um, there's just been so many, and I've played all their songs on air. Tremendous stuff. Uh, Gavin McCoy is watching, another very fine broadcaster, of course. Looking forward to the new year and the changes, says Richard Mackay. Absolutely, Richard, because uh, this year has been a fabulous year. Uh, as you know, Scotty McClure's had a tough time, but, um, you know, this year has been a fabulous year, and uh, next year uh, promises to be even better. So, tremendous stuff. Very, very exciting. And uh, also, Scotty, you are the voice of my youth. 
I listened on the phones rather than study many a night. And she sends two little kisses, two little kisses back to you, Angel. It was a great privilege to be the voice of all time on the radio. There's more to come, by the way, just so that you know big, big, big discussions. Quite serious about that. So watch out for the return of Scotty McClure. Um, also, Albert McSquared has shared the video. Thank you for that, Albert. Very much appreciated. Guys, even unsupervised by my good self, if you can just randomly share, say, I think I'll just give Scotty McClure a wee share because we are building a big, big, big program on Facebook Live on Sunday nights. And also, I say, say, if you want to get your ringtones. Also, if you want to make a donation, that would be helpful. Well, we're going to get set up Fund Me pages. But if you want to make a donation at Scotty McClure's website, there's a PayPal facility there. Anything at all, a pound, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, five pounds. Obviously, we're getting a bit heavy now. Five pounds, ten pounds, fifteen pounds, twenty pounds, fifty pounds, fifty thousand pounds. If you think to yourself, I've got a few quid going spare, I want to put it to a good cause, it'd be very much appreciated because it allows us to buy little bits of equipment and it allows us to improve the program, do a little bit of advertising, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, tell a thousand to tell a thousand, tell a million to tell a million, tell them to tell a billion. Once we've got seven billion watching, that means also that high-speed broadband's doing very well. It means Facebook's doing very well. And it also means that Scotty McClure has got everybody in the world as a fan. All doable, all possible. Thanks, Scotty, says Gavin McCoy. Not at all, Gavin, beautifully spoken. Uh, Stevie Kerr, afternoon, Scotty, says Stevie. Tremendous stuff. So get sharing, guys. As I say, I really just popped up to tell you tomorrow night, 10 o'clock sharp, sort your notifications out. Check out how to notify everyone when Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live Big Style. So whatever you're doing this afternoon, Indie 2 next year, um, after Article 50 is triggered, says Albert, yes, I noticed that people are getting a bit anxious. The chance of going, oh, no, no, Scotland can't do anything different. Ooh, 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 all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I mean, what is the big panic? You know, if Scotland wasn't worth such a fortune um, to Westminster, of course, they'd have dropped us like a hot tatty. So when you're ever hearing people say, oh, I don't know Scotland could manage economically. <laughs> big style. Not a problem. But as I say, I'm not political. I'm not a political animal. I'm only quoting the facts. Hi, Scotty. How's you? Says John Robertson. Absolutely fine, John. Thank you so much for asking. Very, very much appreciated. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. If everyone can have a Facebook share right now on Facebook Live, I promise you I'm just about to push off and I'll see you all tomorrow night at 10 o'clock sharp. I might even pop up for a quick reminder around lunchtime tomorrow, but I will also look into seeing how we can get everyone notified. I'll pop this up on YouTube as well this afternoon. And um, if you can get on YouTube, there's one wonderful thing. I think it's got um, about 190,000 views or something like that. And it's talking to Rob in Southport, the old boy that wasn't well. He was depressed and we got him laughing again. So if you want to pop that onto major websites, if any of you got accounts with major websites and send that round, that would be great as well. It's a great YouTube. It will cheer the world up. And my goodness, does the world need cheering up. Oh, that's what you've got Scotty McClure for. Dinky do. I'm telling you. And I'll not tell you again. Right. Time I pushed off. Here we go. Ellie says you look like her grandpa, says Vivian. Thanks very much, Vivian. And um, all your good wishes and um, your good thoughts. Thank you. My good wishes and good thoughts back to all of you, of course. Lynn Halliday's just shared. Thanks for that, Lynn. Very, very much appreciated. Keep sharing, guys. Keep sharing. And I know it seems a little bit of a bind. Me. Oh, Scotty McClure again, for goodness sake. But it doesn't matter because it's getting the message out there. It's sending everything round. To all of you, have a gorgeous afternoon. If you're going into the town shopping, get some nice things. Look after yourselves, of course. 
whatever city you're going into, Aberdeen, Carlisle, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Stirling, Preston, Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds, Sheffield, Derby, Nottingham, Birmingham, London, Rome. Yes, yes, we are global right now. It's just a thought, isn't it? Paris, Dublin, Belfast, getting yourself in there. Killarney, if you're down there. The Ring of Kerry, if you're down there. Fantastic. So, uh, wonderful things. And um, marvellous. MP Scotty, she says. That's fantastic. That's what it's all about. Oxford, says Gavin. Gavin's in Oxford. Out the Cowley Road there, Gavin. Marvellous. I know Oxford very, very well. A little bit fumy in the town centre. Fumes and everything. And you can pop into Evensong in the colleges around four o'clock. Jonathan Gold's watching. Jonathan Gold, one of our most talented DJs on the planet. So if you ever get the chance to hear Jonathan Gold, he works in Ireland a lot. And um, he was in County Cork. County Cork. I mind being down in Cork myself, like. And um, I came out and I said to my girlfriend, I said, we need to go before the rush hour. And I was talking to somebody and said, what rush hour are you talking about, Scotty? We don't do rush hour in Ireland. And you're quite right, too. And um, Limericks. So there you are. Can I make up a Limerick for you? Those of you from Limerick, the late, great Terry Wogan was from Limerick. A marvellous, marvellous man. Well worth remembering. And uh, so Oxford, yes. Who else have we got? The two Lawrence from Linwood are watching now with three kisses shared between the two of you. Wonderful. Mm. Thank you very much for that. That's very much appreciated. And I shall push off with that. Get on to Scotty McClure's website. Get on to Scotty McClure's Twitter and do some serious business this afternoon, guys. Okay? Good luck if your team's playing. Good luck to Man United, Man City, to Rangers, to Celtic, to Leeds United, to Newcastle to Liverpool, to Everton. Our Scousers are wonderful. They can stand together. It's something we need to master in Scotland. To St. Johnston, to uh, the Hibs, to the Hearts, to the Jambos. Make sure Scotty McClure is on your Twitter, Jambos. And uh, to Uncle George, if he's watching, a great Jambo. Uh, Sir George of Clonmyston. Sir George White there, if he's watching. And uh, have a good day. We'll catch you tomorrow. Says David Russell. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to all of you. Have a wonderful afternoon. Join me tomorrow night, 10 o'clock sharp. See you then. Until then, dinky do.